Access 2016, Module 5, Part 14. We're going to be looking at the Object Dependencies tab in this segment. So let's go ahead and open up our Owner table. And I'm going to minimize this Access pane. And I'm going to go into the database tools. I want to open up the object dependencies. I want to look at the objects that depend on me. And notice it lists all of the objects that depend on my owner table. So if you click on the form, and then let's go ahead and switch to form view. You can see all of these fields that come from our owner table. You can also see that it does indeed have our new in input, max, input mask format that we did in an earlier segment. And it did, in fact, flow over to our form that was displaying that field. Let's go ahead and close this. I'm going to close my owner table and I'm going to switch and open up my animal table. I'm going to minimize the access pane. Notice now when I click refresh, it changes and instead of showing me the items that depend on the owner table, now it's showing me the items that depend on the animal table. If I want to see the items that I depend on, you can click on this other button. I'm going to go ahead and click back on the items that depend on me. And notice that some of these have these triangles next to them. They allow you to expand. You can see that this query also looks at inactive animals, which leans back to our animal as well. So you can see you can use this object dependency pane to see the relationships between the various tables, queries, forms, and reports.